I want to speak to you this morning quickly on your future, your future. And we look at it from the book of Joshua, in particular, Joshua chapter one, verses one through nine. You can make a note of that. You can meditate upon it throughout the day and glean the principles that are relevant for your life living. Today, we're hearing quite a bit about a lot of slogans. Uh, we, we know the popular ones today are generally two in particular. It's about your future and a new day. Uh, for, for any of these to be experienced, your future, for you to have a new day, I suggest humbly, respectfully, that you go not to people, but that you go to the Bible. You go to the Bible. If you want a grand, glorious future, or to experience a brand new day. Having said that, I want to leapfrog, leapfrog from Joshua 1, 1 to 9, and go over to the New Testament, and in particular, John chapter 2. And in John 2, beginning at verse 21, it says of Jesus, he spake, or he spoke of the temple of his body. When therefore he was risen from the dead, his disciples remembered that he had said, and they believed the scripture and the word which Jesus had said. Now when he was in Jerusalem, verse 23, at the Passover in the feast day, many believed in his name when they saw the miracles which he did. But Jesus, verse 24, did not commit himself unto them. Why? Because he knew all men and he needed not that any should testify of man. For he knew what was in man. Gracious God, bless this meditation this morning as we quickly go through it. I, in Jesus name. The first thing we get from Joshua before we end up in John is that Joshua told the people who were mourning and still grieving over Moses and, and wanted Moses to come back and, and they could not see themselves going forward with any other leader than Moses. So Joshua had to remind them that this was a fallacious, erroneous mistaken notion why because moses was dead and so first of all going into our future to experience what god has in store we need to first let go of the past let's let go of the past the past is gone it's like a dead man that we have relied upon while he was alive except that now he is dead and cannot help, cannot help us. So the way things used to be, many times to get ahead, we need to remember that they are gone and gone forever. What is the takeaway? If you're gonna get to your future, resist the temptation of looking back. Don't look back, look ahead look forward you can't drive a car properly successfully if all you're doing is looking in the rear view mirror you're gonna have a collision you're gonna have an accident and it might even god forbid be fatal secondly to get to where god wants us to be lifting the principles from the book of joshua we've got to walk we've got to walk We've got to walk. A lot of people are talking about their future. They, they are testifying about their future and all of that has its place. But talk without walk is not gonna get us anywhere. God told Joshua that every place his foot landed, God was gonna 
give him that territory. In other words, you've got to move forward. You've got to move forward. Rather than simply talk about walking, we've got to take action steps towards progress. Take the next step. I know it may seem daunting. It may seem challenging. It may be riddled with difficulty. But nevertheless, that's God's prescription for getting to where we need to be on the next level. We need to walk. If you don't know what the next step is, simply ask God. He will reveal himself to you. He will do it. He says, if you need wisdom, if you need to know how to get to the future, ask of me and I will give you generously. And then thirdly, moving ahead to get to your future, to experience your new day. Joshua told the people, be strong, be strong. Don't equivocate, don't vacillate, don't second guess. God will never leave you nor forsake you. Whenever you are moving to a higher place in life, you will have times when you're discouraged and disappointed. But the key here is to never give up. Don't give up on God. Don't give up on his promises in scripture for your future. Remember God will never leave you nor forsake you. And then fourthly, be courageous. What does being courageous mean? Being courageous means being willing to step into the unknown, unfamiliar territory. You've never been there before. Are you in your comfort zone? You're, you're scared to, to take God at his word, to move into a new experience. We are called to get to our future, to experience our new day, we are called to be courageous. And then lastly, realize uh, that what God is taking you to and taking you through, it's not just for you. It's not all about you. Uh, uh, what God is doing in you and through you uh, is also to benefit uh, those around you. Paul talks about us having a great cloud of witnesses around our experiences. Uh, there are many people that God is also setting up their purpose and their future through your experience. They are on locus. And as you get through your experience and as you experience your victory, they are going uh, to be energized by how you dealt with your problem, how you handled your difficulty, how you went through your trials, how you behaved in your crucible, and how you obtained your miracle. They will, they will rise up in the wake of your experience and also move to their glorious future. We're going to continue this particular message, this particular teaching, when we return by God's grace the next time. Until then, I want you to know, no matter what's going on, no matter what's happening to you, no matter what's going on in your family, in your health, in your job experience, in your finances, you name it. I want you to know that God has you in his awesome hands and therefore your future is secure. God bless you until we meet again. Let us pray. Gracious God, loving Heavenly Father, we thank you, we praise you that you are in our midst. And more than that, you are holding us in the very hollow of your hands. Convince us, persuade us that you've got great things in store so that we never let go. We be courageous, we be strong. We walk and not just talk and realize that every step we take is leading us to your great and glorious purpose for our lives. We pray for we ask it again with thanksgiving in Jesus name. And everybody said, Amen. Amen and Amen.